Welcome back. You may be wondering at this point why it is that I am flying away from the enemies rather than the more conventional towards that you might expect as a strategy for a mission which involves defending a base. Well, the simple answer is that base defense missions, the enemy fighters don't actually attack the base, you're supposed to be defending. And moreover, my first few fights with these three talents ended up being finished prematurely by me being automatically landed, which was not quite what I had in mind. So in this battle I'm attempting to stay away from the automatic landing zone and the first part of doing that is to fly as far away from it as the can at the start before my room for manoeuvre becomes circumscribed by the requirement to dodge events and talents. This mission overall, my goal is to get back to New Detroit, where Sandoval is theoretically waiting for me with my payment, though... Well, he might be. I don't know. Either this is the tutorial run-through where everything goes according to plan, or this is the start of the big plot and something will have happened to him and will... Has the god of man abandoned us? To spend the next however uh, long the game lasts chasing around after what it is. I'm not sure I'd give odds on that each way at the moment. But anyway, before we get there, we have the traditional defend base and patrol missions in the system I start out with. If there'd been anything that took me to New Detroit or New Constantinople, I would have taken those missions, but as far as I could see there wasn't, and it's my understanding that I can't do bounty missions yet because I'd need the highest level scanners for that. If I'm wrong on that, someone please tell me in the thread because there's a lot of those available for someone who was starting out in Newcastle and might have fled to New Constantinople so I could have done one of those. And they tend to gain quite a lot of money. Heathen, taste the purifying fire of the Lord! Obviously, the version of the, the retros that say the slightly more comical version of that that I was more familiar with uh, only during the expansion the same name. Ah, uh, well, I should have to wait for my bike just by, obviously. Has the God of Man abandoned us? Anyway, these three on one talent fights are actually quite difficult. I've done one before in the asteroid belt, but that was much easier. In part because of the tactical situation, the asteroids made it much harder for the three of them to gang up on me. But I think most Mostly just because the AI is really, really bad at flying in asteroid fields and, amongst other things, the aid flew into an asteroid. The difficulty isn't so much actually out flying the talons enormously. If this were Wing Commander 2 or Wing Commander 3, I wouldn't really have a problem with these fights. I'd take a bit of damage in each of them, but it wouldn't add up to anything consequential by the end of the run. The problem, rather, is that because of the way Privateer does damage, a relatively small amount of damage to my maneuvering thrusters or my engines can essentially cripple the Tarsus. This means that in practice, the Tarsus has about the survivability of an airplane, or maybe a ferret, and doesn't have anywhere near the speed of maneuverability of those craft. And realistically, it doesn't even have the firepower of an airplane. Normally I could get around a lot of the problem I'm having with the 3 on 1 town fights using missiles, but there were quite a lot of them in this run, and I only had 7 torpedoes to start with, because Liverpool doesn't have a ship dealer, so I had no ability to repair or rearm my ship. I think these talents are also quite high level AI because they were much better at dodging missiles than talents frequently are. So all in all, I was in danger of running out of torpedoes and therefore chose to conserve them. This was an additional problem because, as anyone who has noted my piloting display in recent minutes can tell, I've also taken some damage to my Tarsus. The targeting display with its incredibly annoying static was one of these issues. There was also the question of my guns. Right now they are mostly working, they're not perfect, you can see sometimes only one of them will fire. However, things are going to get worse, I suppose I could say before they get better, in the sense that they will get better when I land. 
Target so eliminated. No. I think that was actually a collision, though it's hard to be entirely sure. But either way, my guns in the next engagement are substantially worse than they were in this one. Business treating you well? And as a result of which, this fight takes absolutely freaking ages. It's a two-on-two. -two. There are two pirate talons here and a civilian freighter. Unfortunately, the civilian freighter is kind of terrible. But he will do the essential task of dividing the talons fire. Just about long enough for me to kill this guy. You're thinking like 30 seconds here, aren't you? Yeah. Look at the amount of time left in the video. Sadly, I miss with one of my torpedoes and don't feel I can justify another one, so this takes a really long time. I don't know if I disagree with the damage model for this game. It means you have to repair stuff and it adds a lot of feeling of risk and it gives you a decision to make when you're on missions like this one, which is whether you think you can make it to where you were going, or whether or not it would be smart to put in a nearby port for repairs. Now, after this fight, I will be pretty badly shot up in terms of gun power, and you can see already that my guns are mostly not firing. And that's really bad in Wing Commander in the sense that the way the flight model works, you spend a lot of time not really pointing in the right direction and not really able to put out damage, but you can do an enormous amount of damage in a short period of time when you're actually lined up on the enemy. If your guns don't fire in that short period of time, it makes the battles much longer. Which, to be honest, I don't really mind while I'm playing the game, but then it means I have to come up with stuff to say about it, and then I have to edit the audio, and so I kind of like short videos. Rather more importantly, I get the impression that, realistically, six or seven minutes of me doing this is not the most limiting viewing in the world ever. I would, I was on the verge of speeding this one up, but I decided in the end, the first couple of times this happens, it's pretty tense. Um, okay, I've given away that I kind of get through it, but... Perhaps not by means I would quite have chosen in the end, as now my guns were even worse. And this guy's now finished off the merchant, um, he won't live to uh, gain anything from that. Other than possibly if he gains some precarious joy in the last few moments of his life by the insurance premiums of every other merchant in the Gemini sector just going that bit higher. I don't know, maybe maybe that's what motivates a man to piracy. Oh, it's not really a, a subject I've given much thought to. Oh, apparently he's a retro. Okay, well in that case probably it does. I don't really understand the Church of Man as a religious organisation. So, the basic idea, the reason they're called retros is that they're one of these anti-technology orders you sometimes find in science fiction games. It becomes a bit difficult to explain why they um, spend quite so long flying around in spaceships under the circumstances. Now that's also something that anti-technology orders in these science fiction things often do, so... I don't know, I guess sci-fi writers want to show Luddites and their successors as being intrinsically foolish. On the grounds that being science fiction writers, they are largely futurist types who believe in the of progress and what have you. But I don't really think that's a justification for something that really makes no sense at all. Anyway, that does uh, conclude this fight, and as I said, at this point, I looked at the damage screen. I was pretty certain I'd actually get through it, because I'm jumping to New Constantinople now, and New Constantinople is pretty safe, you know, you've seen me fly through there a couple of missions now, and I've not really had any enemies in it, and after that I'm off to New Detroit, where about the same thing's true. On the other hand, I didn't really see that I lost anything. Now entering an automatic landing zone. By putting in a New Constantinople to refuel and rearm, and repair, so that's what I did. I considered stopping the video. Maintain speed and course for contraband search. No contraband detected. You may proceed. That point, and doing the what's next from New Constantinople, but I was pretty certain you'd just all tell me to go back to New Detroit and continue with what plot there is in this game, so that's what I did. I was 
certain it would be a clear run. It was a clear run, no enemies, not even any friendlies actually. Except that at the start they're doing their traditional contraband scam. And it's smooth one to New Detroit. So, that does conclude the mission. Thanks for watching. I've been Elan and this has been Wing Commander Privateer. And join me next time when Now entering an automatic landing zone. Well, I guess I'll find out what happened to Sandoval, if anything.